Hi, I'm Amber. I'm 30 and I have metastatic breast cancer. I'm just here to offer some tips to anyone that's newly diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. First of all, something you've heard time and time again, but can be a game changer, join a support group. You've obviously found YSC and they do offer some wonderful support groups both in person through their F2F networking groups and online through their forums and community boards. I recommend seeing if your community has a metastatic breast cancer support group specifically, and if not, join an online support group. I'm in a Facebook group that is metastatic breast cancer under 40, and not only do the women offer crazy, amazing emotional support about dating, um, jobs, children, marriage, everything, but they also offer a wealth of information regarding treatments. There are a lot of different treatments for metastatic breast cancer and it's hard to keep them all straight. Oftentimes you have to change treatments quickly and it's nice to know, to be able to have the women there at your fingertips to tell you their success stories, sometimes their failure stories, but tell you about the symptoms that, and side effects that they had from certain treatments. Another thing I recommend is seeing a counselor. You can ask your social worker if your clinic has any resources for free counseling for cancer patients and their families. Being able to talk to a third party objective listener about emotions, situations going on in your life is uh, has helped me immensely and I honestly think anyone should be, see a counselor and you can't just see them once. I see mine every week and on the weeks that I don't see my counselor, I can tell a difference in my emotions. Um, it's also a good idea to see if your family, your spouse, your children, your parents, whoever, if they want to see a counselor too because they're processing a lot of emotions with this diagnosis as well. So they probably need someone to talk to. Um, so we have to get scans every two to three months and a lot of anxiety can go along with these scans. And we don't want to spend all of our healthy time worrying about our scans because after all, we can't change what they say. Um, when I first got diagnosed metastatic, I would worry about my scans. And then I realized that I couldn't change what the scan was gonna say. It could say that I was stable. It could it could say that I that my disease has progressed, but either way, it's not under my control. So there really wasn't a lot of need to worry about it. But we are humans, and we get anxiety. So I just recommend that you find some way to deal with your anxiety, whether it's yoga, meditation, running, eating. Um, Whatever it is, just some, find some way to comfort yourself in times that you're really anxious. Um, I also used to try to plan my lives around my scans. And the truth is you're never going to know what they say. So you don't know if you're going to have to change treatments. You might have to cancel vacations based on new treatments. You just never know. So I tried to just be present and live every day to the fullest and that sounds so cheesy but I try not to make too many plans for my future that's not to say that I don't plan to live a long life because I do but I don't want to get upset when I have to change my plans and I'm very much a type A planner so it's been hard for me to not plan out every detail of my life but I also try not to relish in the past and what my life used to be like. And I just try to accept every day and take it as it is because I don't know what the next scan's going to say. And I don't even know what I'm going to feel like tomorrow. So I try to make every day the best day. Whether I'm doing something awesome like whitewater kayaking or just laying in my bed watching TV, I try to make it a good day. And I surround myself with love and support and that's really important. If you have people in your life who are adding a lot of negativity, I say get rid of them because we don't need any toxic relationships in our lives. And I used to be very much a fixer and try to help people that 
you know, maybe we're emotionally unstable, but I just can't take negativity anymore. And so just surround yourself with love and friendship. And if you ever want to contact me, ask why I see, they know how to get me because I am happy to talk to each and every metastatic breast cancer fighter out there. God bless.